You thought what was my answer to what? I was just responding to you saying that you hadn't seen anything like that. So I wanted to know if you have ever heard of Little Kim because no, I'm, no, I was uh, I was uh, I was saying I haven't seen. I was saying I haven't seen. I haven't seen any woman dressed like that um, in my personal life outside. That's what I was saying. So then why are you talking about it? Why am I talking about what? Only on social media and not in your real life. Why am I talking about what? Women that dress that way. Is that not what you're talking about? No, I want to. I want to know as a woman, what is your answer to the question on the screen? Did you Did you see what Tanache wore to the VMAs? Um, no, I didn't. Okay, this is what she wore. Hold on, let me see if you can see it better this way. You were about to give me make a little Kim comment because I was just like, that's that's not a new thing that's not a new trend for the people to be barely naked or almost naked like especially celebrities and people that are in that limelight and in that career i.e hip-hop and rap industry it's like it's it's not new and it's weird that men always say that they hate it but most of these people have ghost writers like their super explicit lyrics are usually written by men most of their stylists are influenced by like what men are gonna want to see so it's funny that y'all also have such a you know like a strong critique at the same time but yeah this is very very regular um it's been done several times sierra just had a similar look on which obviously i'm sure you've seen she got a lot of backlash for that but yeah this is like a thing that happens a lot okay but i just i just want to know what your answer is to the, to the question that this woman proposed can you see or do you need me to read it for you um let me uh i can kind of Okay, I'll read it for you. It says, I just know some girlies are going to be mad, are going to be so mad at this and call me a uh, pick me. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for woman empowerment and liberation, but how does nudity serve towards that? And if I'm wrong, please enlighten me. I'm always open to be educated. So that's what her question is. She wants to know how, she wants to know how does nudity serve towards the empowerment um and liberation of women right so i feel like the liberation part i feel like first of all like women are not a monolith like some women are gonna feel that there's liberation in being able to be naked or half naked outside and then some women will find their liberation in being conservative but there's a choice in that and i feel like that's the point there's a choice a woman can choose to be out and and express herself by wearing little or no clothes or whatever and that's her choice that's that woman's personal choice and i spe especially in a country that was like mostly ruled like by obviously patriarchy and things like that where like women never profit off of their like sexualization now women claiming their own sexualization and profiting off their selves instead of someone else benefiting from the sexualization of them i feel like that's what they mean in liberation when they say okay we're gonna wear what we want we're gonna do what we want but also i don't think that's a representation of all women i think there's just a choice to be able to do what it is that you want and you should you should engage with the women that carry themselves in the way that you see fit or that you like but let's not demonize women who make a different choice because there's a choice that's the whole entire point of liberation being able to choose for yourself as a woman right and nobody nobody here is 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 demonizing anyone that's why i'm here asking you what your what your thoughts are to what the woman to the question that this woman proposed because I'm, I'm i'm honestly i'm honestly interested but but uh, but uh, but with even everything you just said, I what what imp like what empowerment? I mean, is it is it simply? I mean, I mean, like anyone can go outside and and dress how they want to dress. So I mean, um, what like what empowerment? What exactly does a woman like? You know, she she's dressed in a fishnet, and she has I guess tape covering her nipples and her midsection. What empowerment does she exactly get out of that for real? Like, do you do you dress like that, L? And if and if you don't dress like that, why don't you dress like that? 
Um, so I dress whenever I feel like dressing, whenever I feel like dressing that way. And I feel as if there are, there are similar outfits to what this um, woman has on, like on Fashion Week, New York, Paris, like nudity is this thing that we're like looking at so, you know, negatively right now. But if you look at other like avenues like fashion, like I just brought up, there's lots of scenarios where there's topless women or th you can see their nipples. Rihanna does it like it's a lot of sh a lot of things that are already kind of out there. So well, I guess I agree with you. outraged. Why does it why does it really matter how a woman chooses to like express herself? How does that hurt you? I guess is the question. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hurt me. It doesn't hurt me specific. It doesn't hurt me specifically at all. In the comments, Jennifer said the average woman is not a part of Fashion Week. And I agree. The average woman is also not a celebrity. So we're taking a celebrity and we're holding her up and saying, why do women dress like this? When even you, the host yourself, said that you don't see women dressing like this in your day to day. You said that. I, I, OK, L, I, I, I very much specified that I haven't seen a woman in a fishnet and 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 where and having tape to cover her nipples in her midsection like we like we got to be real like we're not going to make it seem like i said that i've never seen women scantily dressed before like women clearly women clearly out here being scantily dressed and you know wearing revealing clothing but but all i'm trying to understand i'm, I'm real i'm genuinely trying to get an understanding from a woman what is empowering to you about dressing like that Um, I speak for I speak for all women. So, like I said, I dress how I, how I want to dress. Have I ever dressed like in a way that some people? I've I've never had tape across my teeth, nothing like that. But if I wanted to, that would be me. And literally, no one could say anything. Just like I don't feel like as a woman, I could pass judgment on her for wearing what she wants as a literal celebrity on a pink carpet literally doing she probably had a stylist that styled this whole entire outfit and there's so many things behind it that like we don't address we just say look at what women are doing and it's i don't know counterproductive how how old are you l i'm 25 years old okay I'm, I'm a year older than you um so if i said have you have you heard of tanache before i have um I, so i'm not like super you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she she doesn't have like she doesn't have like a a budding music career. She's never really been successful in the entertainment industry. So I mean, I I, I mean, I I hear what you're saying, but I think it's also kind of embarrassing and a damn shame that you know someone that doesn't even like have um and Sierra included, right? Because it's not like Sierra has like a a successful entertainment career either. But you know, for someone that doesn't even have a successful, successful entertainment career. What'd you say? Sierra, Sierra doesn't have a successful entertainment career? No. Uh, okay. Okay. You, do, do you think she does? Um, yeah, I would disagree with that. I think okay, that. What, what, why do you think? Why in, in, in 2020? Okay. When's okay. Y'all look, y'all are free to disagree, but it, it's 2023. I want you guys to tell me because there was, there was a time when men and women knew Sierra as a, as an artist, as a musician. When is the last time when is the last time that Sierra was really a budding successful artist or musician? Because I, I, I know I know the answer to that. I know what that year is, but it is 2023. So when she was with Future and I don't want to I want to say 2013, 2014, and she was making Body Party. I want you to tell me the last hit. I want you to tell me the last time that Sierra has had a successful budding music career. What year was it? Like exactly, JJ. Like we we gotta be honest. What year was it? It is 2023 today. So L, I want you to tell me when was the last time that Sierra right, was a successful not not her being known for being uh Russell Wilson's wife. Right, when I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I don't I don't know the day of her last song or anything like that. But I know that like just like I said, me being 25 years old and just speaking from an anecdotal experience, of course, in my peer group. Sierra is still known as an artist. People still recognize her as an artist. And there's still some key songs that are instrumental in people's like 
upbringing and that are nostalgic to her. So I mean, like, when's the last time Lauren Hill did anything? Is she not an artist now? Like, I don't think that's a valid argument. But but L, I want you to tell me when. I just want you to tell me when was the last time? I admit it. I did. I don't know the last time she she made a project or worked on a project. I admit that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So what? Okay. See. Okay. So so Sierra. Or I called you Sierra. Um, Body Party was released in 2013, and Future wrote this song. But L, because we're the same age. I want and be 100 percent honest when I ask you this question. Is Sierra more so known as an artist these days, or is she more so known as Russell Wilson's wife? Just please be one hundred percent honest. Um, I'll be honest. I feel like I feel like you don't have one without the other because, like I said, my age, I, there are girls that still like when we going on our girls' nights and stuff. Like Body Party definitely still hits, and the throwbacks of Sierra still hit. And we knew her as that before we knew her as Russell's wife. But I do feel like her relationship in her artistry definitely are combined now, and I don't think that one gets brought up without the other. So. <laughs> What tell me tell name name five songs name five songs other than Bart than Body Party and because you, you're talking about Body Party which was released 10 years ago. Tell me tell me what Sierra songs you know today because she, she's not selling records. So I want you to tell me what Sierra songs that you know today since you're telling me that I they're can name five. Song, she's not more so known as Russell Wilson's wife than she is as an artist. Please tell me. I don't know if I can name five. Uh, name, name, level three. Up. Name, name three Sierra name three Sierra songs other than body party and and and, and music that was released during that time name three name three Sierra songs in recent times that you know of now, give me three times didn't she do a collab I remember she doing a her doing a collab with Nikki that I like is in my mind I don't even know the name of the song but I know she did that so I feel like that was relatively recently um I know Step Up, um, I, I don't know. I I admit that I really don't know a whole entire bunch. I'm just like, when someone brings up Sierra, I'm immediately identifying her as an artist. Like I, I will bring, I, I talk about the drama as well. I feel like her life has integrated a lot. Her personal life, as far as even future to now Russell Wilson has been really like in the media and like politicized and all that shit. But I still identify her as an artist first. And that's me being honest. And I can, I can respect you saying that you don't, but like, I, it might just be a different taste in music, but I do feel like she still has a presence as an artist. That's the and that's how we all well is that not how you were introduced to her like i know you probably weren't introduced to her as futures uh girl right right no 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 i was definitely there was a point in time where she was definitely more so known as an artist and a prolific artist at that and, and i and i respect you saying that you because you can identify her for whatever you want to identify her as personally but i mean at the end of the day like I and this just I mean this just my personal opinion, but it's kind of facts too. If someone isn't selling records nowadays, if someone is literally like irrelevant when it comes to to music, like you're a woman, and you can't even name me two three songs that she had in recent times because she hasn't had any. So I mean to say that she's not more so known as being Russell Wilson's wife than being an artist, I think that's kind of disingenuous to say. L like I mean like let's be real like when you see. When you see any any press about her these days, is it for music or is it is, does Russell Wilson have something to do with it? Like, let's just be 100 percent honest. I would say these days that it's definitely not about music because the things that get reported about her, obviously, more so surrounding Russell Wilson, her kids, the drama with Future and all of that. But I also stand by the fact that I feel like she's established as an artist, just because that's not the element that she's in right now. If Sierra made a song tomorrow, I think that she has a large enough fan base that she could do well. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna respectfully disagree, but um, I want to hear I want to hear what your thoughts are on um this as well. Uh, let me let me do this. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but I'm gonna play it for you, and then I'm gonna just. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on it. Um, one second here. Let me, okay, here it goes. 
I'm not the reason that y'all look bad. I do not represent y'all. Y'all represent y'all self. I am not y'all motherfucking representation. And then y'all be trying to make me feel like I got to change for y'all. Who is y'all? Y'all already looked the fuck a mess. Y'all already was a mess. No, stop blaming me for y'all being look, looking a fool or looking bad. Y'all been looking baby bad. Y'all been looking bad. Your baby daddy's been making y'all looking bad. Y'all all been looking bad. Your husband's been making y'all look bad. All y'all been looking bad already. I am not the reason that y'all look bad. I do not represent y'all. Y'all represent y'all self. I am not y'all motherfucking representation. Suki Hana is not nobody's representation. Child. Why would y'all even want me as representation? Y'all need representation y'all self. I'm always gonna stay the same, all the way back, six years back. Y'all gonna see me, see me doing the same thing, baby. Ain't nothing about me about to change. I ain't finna change my nose. Then I know that y'all want me to change my nose, and y'all trying to say that I need to. I, I, my, I'm ugly. Oh, baby, I'm gonna show you what ugly is. I'm gonna show you what ugly is. Yeah. Y'all ugly. Y'all ugly. So, um, L, did you see? Did you see any uh? clips of uh suki hana at the uh vmas i didn't see those clips like tam but i did hear about her uh twerking on her like hands and knees and whatnot i did oh, yeah yeah so you know obviously obviously women like suki hana um sexy red you know they've been getting a lot of press about i don't know some people i don't know there probably are some people that really don't care but there's also, I mean, at least the way they've been putting it in the press, they've been putting it like they've been trying to portray it as negative as, as, how, as far as how they've been conducting themselves. Um, what are your thoughts on what you heard Sukiana just said, uh, say? Like, like she said, um, she's not a representation of black women. She represents herself. Other black women represent their self. And she said that, you know, you know, a lot of these black women have already been a mess, you know. Um, their baby daddies and their husbands have already made them a mess. So what are your thoughts on what she said? Well, I don't to agree with her. Uh, I don't think that she's anybody's representation. Like she said, who, who are, who, who is she supposed to be representing? Because if we're talking about black women, we know that first of all, black women are not a monolith. No one black woman is ever gonna represent all black women. And I feel that she's like, she's a, she's a rapper. She's gonna do what gets attention. She's an influencer. She's all of that. First of all, if, if, if we're talking about children in the aspect of children, the parents need to be regulating what it is that your children listen to and what your children see. That is your job. She is an artist. Her job is to create shock and awe to make money. Therefore, she's she's doing her, her job well. I'm literally a army veteran and a college student. I blast Sukiana and Sexy Red. That doesn't mean I'm walking into class with a fucking bikini on and short shorts. It's music. That's what I listen to. And for people to look at it as a direct representation of how to live your life, I feel like that's that's on them. You pick who's your role models. There's so many upstanding Black women out here to look up to if you want to model your life after. If you decide to pick a rapper to do that, then that's on you. <laughs> She already said, I'm not here to lead the way anywhere. I'm being myself. I'm doing what it is that makes me happy and or makes me money. And like, what can you, what can you say to that? Because it's nothing different than what these male rappers do. It's the exact same and we support them. No, I 100%, I 100% um, agree with you, L. I mean, I've kind of echoed some of the same sentiments that you just said. I mean, you know, it's it seems like whenever whenever these women have a camera put in front of them, L, did you did you see did you see the video of them of of Sukiana and Sexy Red um, <laughs> rapping in front of the Popeyes? Did you see that? No, I didn't see the video. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't see that. Are you sound bites? I don't usually see the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't see that, but um, yeah, it was it was rapping in front of a pop. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> they was rapping. They was rapping with them. So many people relate to that. Like, where is Sexy Red from St. Louis? So many women in her exact position relate to that. And then it's also translating to other women because they like the beat or just the way that they hear it. And like I said, that's not my lifestyle. I don't relate to her on a personal level. Like, right. they talking about selling cat. I right. can't necessarily relate, but it's music. Just right. like a lot of men out here are not out here moving weight, but they right. can relate to 50 Cent rapping, and then they go into their corporate job. That's not a representation <laughs> of them. It's entertainment, and we have to take it for what it is. So, uh, right. No, L, I don't look. I don't disagree with anything you're saying right now. So my question to you as a woman is, why do you think, L, that, like, you know, when these new women, you know, get on the scene and i don't know let's just be real they're being ghetto they're being ignorant you know sexy red is on these interviews saying a lot of wild things but why do you think they get so much backlash but you know these men that like you said these men that are in their music they're talking about things to destroy the black community they're talking about taking other black men's lives they're talking about very destructive things why do you think the women get so much backlash for talking about their coochie and uh you know scants you know dealing with scant just all the ignorant stuff that they be saying what do you what do you think is like the distinction like between the two like why why do the women kiss so much backlash but the men the men can say whatever and get away with it i mean i love the so like the most obvious answer would just be patriarchy and sexism like it's exactly the same thing and then you get different reactions not to mention like rap and hip-hop they're still almost what <laughs> close to 85 percent male dominated industries still so like you gotta you gotta look at who is actually consuming all of this you can't hate it and then go running by the cd at the same time so I think the, the answer is just the only difference is that they're women. Okay. Um, okay. So, so you said, you said you personally that, you know, you dress however you want to dress. Um, do you think, um, do you think, uh, at least in America that this America that we live in today, do you think that representation and how people, um, present themselves um, has an effect on the results that they get in life. Just be 100% honest. Uh, absolutely. I think that how you present yourself has a, a huge effect on, you know, like what you have access to, also how people per perceive you. Right. Um, so like, like, I feel like that even just feeds into, I think that like the shit that they do as far as like the, the everything out or whatever, I feel like it's, intentional because they know exactly what they're going to get and they get attention whether it be uh bad good or bad attention they still get attention and i feel like that benefits them but if we look at the history of america like we've always had to you know like uh present ourselves a certain way like we get told our hair was not you know professional in certain situations we have to change it we have to alter ourselves we have to in some situations assimilate just to get by so i feel like now i mean in hip-hop there are certain things that you're gonna have to do we can't pretend like you don't get in front of a producer and they don't tell you what well, you're gonna have to switch up your image like the like i brought up Lil kim biggie was behind little kim he told him he told he made her he said you're gonna have to do this you're gonna have to talk like this so yeah it's, it's all about how you present yourself and how people perceive you and then that you know what comes of that what they feel like you deserve because of that or like the success that can do if you start a certain level of controversy right so i don't i don't disagree with anything you just said there l but i mean it's one thing for a woman to be in the entertainment industry and it's one thing for a woman to just be an average, you know, everyday, day-to-day -day woman. So, um, so for the woman that's just the average, everyday woman, I know, I know, you essentially said that it's just the just the 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 ability to just for a woman to put ever to put on whatever what she wears is empowering. But I mean, as a okay, let me ask you this: as a woman, Elle, as a twenty-five-year-old woman. 
Do you think, and answer this 100% honestly, because I, I do, I do think you've been, I do think you've been being genuine throughout this conversation that we've been having. Do you think most men are going to, and you, you've acknowledged how, you know, in, in our society, perception is reality for the most part. So being that you've acknowledged that perception is reality, do you think most men are going to take a woman that is often scantily dressed more serious, or do you think they're going to take a woman that's more covered more serious? Please be 100% honest. Uh, I think men take both of them serious. Oh. <laughs> I'll be, I, I, I genuinely feel like men take both of them seriously. I feel like a lot of, even if you want to look at the rap industry, just like isolate that women that you see not dressed or whatever you are like a uh, half dressed, whatever you want to call it. Are they not getting wiped? Are the Cardi B's that used to be strippers not getting wiped? Like, is this not happening? I'm just looking at what's actually going on in front of me. Like I'm hearing men say that they don't want people that are dressed like xyz but then i'm looking and seeing women that are dressed like xyz and former strippers and former dancers or used to sell cat getting wiped up by um men that we would consider to be high value if you're just looking at pockets so what's what's that because they are getting married that is happening ew <laughs> oh my god ew <laughs> Ew, you literally just mentioned. Sierra had the same outfit on, but she's married to Russell Wilson. Okay, L, I'm about to speak to your point. <clears throat> to that woman in the comments, can you not? Can you not? Can you not request? Um, but L, so, <laughs> so you literally just named Cardi B. You named Sierra. You named these high-profile women. Like, come on, L, let's be 100% real. Like, you you mentioning these high-profile women, like, that's why I specified. I'm talking about the average, yes, everyday, day-to-day -day woman, L. They didn't start off high-profile. I was introduced from to Cardi B through literally it's Vine brilliant. and then okay. uh, Love & Hip Hop. Like, they didn't start off high-profile. She literally started off in the strip club, the, the same you know, girls that they rap about being in the strip club, spending whatever on or whatever on. So that's not where she started. Cardi B just got her, like, not just recently, but more relatively recently just got on for being an artist. She was known for literally talking about sucking D better on Vine. That's how she got on. But a man still took her serious. But, but L, and be 100% honest, do you think that, do you think that a man, do you think that, a that I don't even want to say a man, do you think that men took her serious because of, uh, because of however, okay, what, what do you think is, what do you honestly think is, is the real reason that a lot of men, um, did, and even today will take Cardi B serious? Do you, is it because of her success and her monetary status, or is it because of, you know, just literally, I don't even want to, cause she's not, she's not even moving like how she used to be moving back then. Like, cause like you said, when when I first was introduced to Cardi B, she, I, I was first introduced to Cardi B. I, I used to see like clips and videos of her just saying wild things, like you said. But I mean, so like you know, Car Cardi B is Cardi B is probably up you know hundreds of millions of dollars. So like, what what is the real reason that men is like taking her serious? Like, let's be one hundred percent honest. I mean, I guess we would have to ask her what the real reason is, but I answered her question as to would they be taken serious? Like if we're just going off, what is it that they're wearing and what is it that they're saying? Okay. They are being taken serious. So like, I will give it to you that I cannot point to exactly, oh, it was X, Y, Z that made him say, oh, this is going to be my wife. But I know that he said it. Okay. I got you. I got you. Okay. So what, I don't even want to. I gotta, how should I even ask you this question? <sighs> do you think, do you think certain caliber or certain quality of men, um, you know, wanna be with women that are presenting themselves and moving a certain way? Like, L, if you was on TikTok making videos about, you know, how good you slob on a knob and, you know, you was showing off your uh, 
fit all all you did in your content was show off your physical assets do you think a lot of just average you know um and i'll say i'll say successful i'll say successful average and when i say average um you know they're not famous they don't have any notoriety for anything specifically but they're high earners and they're accomplished established successful men do you think they're really going to want to be in committed exclusive relationships with majority of those women be 100 percent honest i think that it depends on the person um <laughs> I'll give it to you that I feel like a lot of people, I feel like the, the same guys that say that that's not what they want, but they're liking those type of pictures on Instagram, but all they Snapchat is filled with these girls, but they subscribe to certain OnlyFans. I feel yeah. like those are the people who literally have a wife. Like, <laughs> I'll bring it all the way back to Lil' Kim again. Biggie mm -hmm. switched up and got with Faith, but he was still messing with Lil' Kim on the side. So it's like, it's what you really want. What What are you actually attracted to? that's like the, there there is an honesty that has to be had on both sides i feel like yeah will some people be attracted to a woman but not pursue them because of how they feel they might be perceived by their friend group or by by their parents or whatever because of how she presents herself or how she dresses sure can a man still um be in love with, with that girl and still want to mess with her and still want to be around her and be in her presence yeah okay i, I think that okay l listen you're 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 100 right about what you just said but it is the capacity that a man wants to be involved with that woman listen men 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 have do and always will love hoes okay men men will always appreciate and respect women that you know um don't value themselves um you know, they, they don't believe in body count and they're willing to give up. They're, they're willing to sleep with anybody and anybody because it's woman empowerment. Men love those women because women that women that have standards for themselves, they just, they just move a certain way and they move completely different from those women. So yeah, there are men that are in committed relationships, husbands that like you said, they're paying monthly subscriptions to these different women and they cheating on they they cheating on their wives or their girlfriends with these specific women but at the end of the day what as a woman l what do you think is the is the more honorable position honorable position do you think it's more honorable to be the girlfriend or the wife or to be the hoe that he fucks on the side and that's it so my question to you is yeah these men have interest in these women hoes get wives. We already established hoes get wifed as well. Like whether like you didn't really want to go into why, but we already established hoes also get wiped. Like the same exact women that you say are hoes and depict as hoes, there's people marrying them. And you're saying, oh, take it to an average scale. The right there's bitches right now at the strip club down the street from me that are married. Married to, to men with decent jobs that work at the bank. I'm talking about average people. She average, she average. So okay. it happens. Okay, L. Okay, and I and I know you're not a man, but I, I just want you to try your best to put yourself in a man's shoes to well, this question that I'm about so to ask. Maybe I could try extra hard. Okay, no, no, I, no. Listen, I understand. That's why I said you're not a man. Like I understand you're a woman, and listen, there's there's certain things that I'll never be able to fully grasp grasp and understand because I'm not a woman. And so I understand that there's certain things that you're also not going to be able to fully grasp and understand and see from my perspective. But um you're you're 100 percent you're 100 percent right. There are men out here that have decent jobs that are um wifing up you know specific set of women. But let me ask you this L do you think do you think that's more common or do you think that's less so basically what i'm trying to ask you l is do you think an accomplished established successful man right do you think when it comes to him choosing a woman that forget about the whole wife title even a woman that he's gonna want to be his girlfriend do you do you think most of these accomplished established successful men do you think they're gonna actually want to be um, in a relate in a committed relationship with a woman that's doing the most online that's you know on these subscription sites doing certain things with herself or do you think that most of these men are going to want to more so be with a 
um, what's the word? Uh, uh, whatever the word is, I can't think right now. Whatever the word, like a woman that's doing the complete opposite, right? So, so when when it's the holiday company party and things of that nature, do you think do you think an accomplished, established, successful man really want to pull up to the to the company function with a woman that's on the internet saying wild things, showing her physical assets? Like, let's let's be real, L. Do you think majority? I'm talking. L, look, we established, okay, nothing, like you said, no, like you said, the same way you said earlier that black women are not a monolith, we understand that nothing is absolute, okay? But what I am asking you is majority. Do you think majority of men see a woman online that's conducting herself a certain way? Like, like I said, all her content is her showing her physical assets and things of that nature. Do you think majority of men actually want to be in a serious relationship with that woman? Or do you think majority of men only want to fuck that woman? What do you honestly think, L? Just be 100% honest. It's subjective. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. It's legitimately subjective. Are you being serious with me right now? I'm being so serious, but I'm gonna go because these fucking weirdos in your comments are kind of blowing me. No, but this don't, is a good don't, conversation. Worry, don't, don't worry about the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I'm about to get annoyed. But I'm gonna follow you, so maybe we could talk again. Okay, all right, all right, Elle, I appreciate it. All right, bye. No, why y'all run her?